Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a handbag review video, hopefully the first of many to come. And the first bag review that I'm going to be doing is on the C by Chloe Mini Hannah Bag. So if you're interested in that, then please keep on watching. So this bag usually retails for around $440 Canadian. Um, and I finally, finally got it on sale for, I believe it was around $250 Canadian. I got it on a site called Farfetched. It was actually my first time ordering from there. And the process was really, really smooth. There was no issues. Um, so I would recommend using it again. So without further ado, here's the bag. So it came in this little cute dust bag. It's this nice off-white color. It's like a somewhat thin uh, canvas material. And then it just has these very thick shoelace-like drawstrings with the C by Chloe logo in this peachy pink color that they love to use. And then when you open it up, here's the bag. So some other things that were on the bag were um, this far-fetched uh, tag, the authenticity card, which looks like this. And then this adorable little hang tag, it says C by Chloe once again. And then the back has like these what looks like lips and a heart, which is kind of cool. And the inside of this is basically just care instructions, um, the barcode, and yes, now onto the bag. It's in this beautiful biscotti beige color. The whole thing is leather, so it's not mixed with suede. The back looks like this. Here's the side and the bottom. As you can see, it's very, very thin. So mine is in this beautiful pebbled leather. I believe it's goat skin leather. Um, and then it's got gold hardware. There is a little key charm and another round charm that says C by Chloe. Then there is like an embossing that says C by Chloe here. I like that it's very subtle. And then it's just got this beautiful sort of, I don't even know how to describe this. It's very like Western looking. You know, it's and like geometric, it's got this beautiful trim all around. There's this beautiful, beautiful braiding here. It's so intricate and it kind of like just is attached by this part here. There's no, there's nothing attaching at the bottom. And I think this is really like the selling point of this bag is just how gorgeous the front of it is. Because I'll be honest, the rest of it is pretty plain. <laughs> so when you open up the bag, it just opens with a magnetic closure, very simple. The magnetic closure says C by Chloe right there. The inside of the bag is lined with this rough canvas. Here is completely plain. The inside looks like this, so I'll take the strap out. So the strap is non-removable, unfortunately, um, as it kind of just feeds through here, and then everything is sort of like built on top of it so it's really snug in there there's no there's no pulling it out or, or like creating a hole to change the strap unfortunately inside here this is what the bag looks like inside there's no bells and whistles it's just one empty pocket and then there's just one tiny slip pocket here that says C by Chloe in the same leather trim as the outside and then the strap is this very thin strap and it is adjustable so there is three holes of adjustability and they just adjust by this little um, notch here so those are the general specs of the bag and now i'm going to show you what fits inside you can probably tell just by looking at it but very very small and because the base is so thin it really doesn't hold a lot. So as I showed earlier, there is a cute little um, card holder slot, and I love using that slot to put my most needed cards, up to three or four of my most needed cards. Um, I'm just gonna use a little TJ Maxx card here to show you as an example. And it just goes in there nice and easily like that. And it's very nice because it's easy access. You don't have to dig around for your wallet. You just got like your important cards right there. Uh, the Louis Vuitton key clay. Um, I use this as a wallet. And I just put that in there. And then I also have um, this little catch-all pouch that I use with every bag. 
that just goes in there. Hand sanitizer. Even that is a struggle to find room to fit. You sort of have to play Tetris when a bag is this small and tight. <laughs> then I have my keys, which happen to be really chunky, so I've got to maneuver those a little bit. I have a mask that I fold up really small. And lastly, my cell phone, which I know this is ancient now, but I use the iPhone 7. That closes up. And that's everything that fits inside the bag, so it's completely at full capacity. And as you can see, that was not a lot of stuff at all. In my opinion, I personally couldn't use this as an everyday bag. Uh, some people who are extremely minimal could do that. Uh, but I tried for a week and it was really rough. <laughs> so this is the kind of bag that like if you're running errands or you're stepping out just for a second and you just need the essentials, or if you're you know, going out to lunch, or if you are going to the grocery store, or if you're just going to check your mailbox or something, um, that's about it. But I, I, I wouldn't recommend it for an everyday bag. I really, really wanted to love it, but it is really, really small. Um, and I'll show you how it looks on as well. So now for some mod shots. As you can see, you can wear it comfortably on the shoulder like this. Or you can choose to wear a crossbody like so. It hits me at the upper hip when it's at the shortest strap length setting, but you could always adjust it to however you need. And yeah, it's just a beautiful casual style. So now I'll be discussing the pros and cons of the Chloe Mini Hannah bag. The pros are it looks really, really cute, obviously. I think it's a really good staple of a classic Chloe bag. It encompasses all of the elements of Chloe that a lot of us really love. Has that sort of Western flair. It's very bohemian. Oh. Number one pro is the look. <laughs> Another pro is if you're one of those people that likes to carry a luxury handbag that's more on the, you know, low key side, like it's not too loud, like LV or Supreme or Gucci, um, but it's more kind of subdued and subtle and more so like a if you know you know kind of thing then i think this is a really good choice for you another pro is that it never goes out of style so the classic flap style uh, brown bag is just it's always going to look good it never really dates very casual and it doesn't look like it's trying too hard and it matches pretty much everything. Another pro is it's very lightweight. Another pro is the mini pocket that I mentioned earlier. That's about all the pros I can think of. Now onto the cons of the bag. And I hate to say it, but there's probably more cons than pros with this particular bag. First of all, the strap quality. When I opened this bag for the very first time and I unboxed it, I found the strap to feel cheap to be honest with you, it feels like cheaper than some contemporary brand bags I own. It's just very flimsy, it's very thin. It doesn't really seem like it's going to be hard wearing. Um, and even just using it once, you can see that uh, there's already threads coming out and that's not good. I've seen other reviews where people say that the style of this little metal stud being the thing that you can adjust it with, it just sort of creates a huge hole and it's very hard to repair. So that's another design flaw. Another design flaw with this strap, I know there's so many, is that this part here that's supposed to actually hold this part in place from like flapping around, it's not tight enough. It's incredibly loose, so it always just falls down and it defeats the whole purpose. So you end up just having to push it all the way to the top, but then this stays as like sort of flapping and a little bit in the way. As I mentioned earlier, it's also not removable. So there's just so many things about the strap that I'm just really not satisfied with. Another con I would say is the back here not having a slip pocket of some sort is kind of a waste or even like a small credit card pocket. I just think this is such a large surface area that could have been better utilized than just having nothing. Especially because the interior of the bag is so small, it would have been nice to like have do something with the back here. 
Some other cons that I want to quickly mention about this bag is, I mean, it goes without saying, but it's so incredibly mini. Um, it just, again, the base of it being so narrow, it really doesn't fit a lot. Like even the small amount of essentials that I showed you that I put in here, even those are like bursting at the seams trying to fit in here. And again, you could arguably fit more in like a lipstick, etc., but it wouldn't be a comfortable, functional fit. You'd have to rearrange everything just to get to your wallet. And that's just not realistic, especially when you're in a rush. And another thing, the base of this flap, where it starts to curve, it's incredibly stiff. So when you're using the bag and it's on crossbody and you're opening it up, you really have to like push it and sort of distort it. And because it's a very expensive bag, I feel bad kind of contorting it every single time and really sort of like ripping it open like that just to get into it. I just, yeah, and even I mentioned earlier, it's easy to close in the sense that it's a magnetic closure. It's not the easiest in the sense that the actual magnet itself is pretty tiny. Like if it was sort of like the Louis Vuitton favorite bag where there was just like a magnet underneath the surface that no matter how you did it, it how you closed it, sorry, it wouldn't miss the magnet, but you sort of have to like aim until it clicks. See, like that, and it's really fussy and annoying. Just when you're going to pay, when you're going to find your phone or your lipstick, it's just such a hassle. I use this, I even pare it down even less so that it's literally just phone, wallet, keys, the absolute bare essentials. Overall, C by Chloe Mini Hanna is a very cute bag. I'm happy to finally have it in my collection. I personally would only recommend getting it on sale because just full honesty here, it's really not worth it. Um, I can only see it being worth it because of the beauty of the artistry of the front. The front is like a work of art, but the rest of it is kind of like an afterthought to be completely honest with you. It's not very user friendly. It does not fit a lot. Um, again, this comes down to personal preference. Some people are very minimal and you know, some people can make it work. And even I can be pretty minimal if I try, but even for me, it's just for the price and what else is out there, it's just really not practical. So overall, as my very first Chloe handbag, it was a bit of a disappointment. Um, but you live and you learn. So I hope this video was helpful to anyone who's been eyeing this bag. As I have noticed, there's not a lot of reviews on this bag on YouTube yet. So I was hoping to contribute uh, a different perspective on this bag. I really hope that it helped you out in deciding whether you should get it or not. At the end of the day, everything I said is just my opinion. And if you like the bag still and you still want to get it, that is totally up to you. And I wouldn't judge you because it is a really cute bag and it's really beautiful. And when it's on sale, I guess it's somewhat decent. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so that's the end of the video. So please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care. Bye.